Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Kathleen Duty, and in this course I will be teaching Pebble Mosaic the next step. This course is designed to inspire you and to expand your knowledge allowing you to create larger, more complex and multi-sectioned pebble mosaics. If you've never created a pebble mosaic before, it's highly recommended that you enroll in my first course, Pebble Mosaics 101. It will lead you through all the steps that you need to build a 12 inch square work ready for installation in a path or garden. Using multiple on-screen examples and one physical demo, the next step will give you design considerations when you know that it's time to create your own template. We will talk about sketching and enlarging your ideas both manually and in vector software, flipping the design, and adding cut lines to divide a larger project into manageable sections for building and moving. Using the example of the threshold mosaic that I created and is now installed at the Ruins Project in Pennsylvania, we will examine how the template for this work was created and printed piece by piece at 100% and ready to set up. In this presentation, I will show how the materials were used to build the six molds that make up the design, we will go through casting the pieces in two stages, as well as tips on how to pack and move the sections that have been built. After a photo demo of the installation at the ruins, I will illustrate a step-by-step -step process showing how to install a 36 inch diameter light traffic mosaic. Finally, I'll demonstrate to you how to use corrugated plastic and small wood blocks to build a 15 inch diameter circular mosaic a perfect size for a stepping stone. I've included in this course a template of the 15 inch circular design. So let's get started. Kathleen, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online and bringing the second course that is really a follow up to your Pebble Mosaics 101. Now we have the next step, <laughs> more of your knowledge. Well, it's great to be back. Yes. So? So, tell us a little bit about why we designed this course this way. It was really up to you to figure out how you could share this knowledge without you working for five weeks here in my studio trying to make a larger mosaic. Yes, that would be difficult. Yes. But I really wanted people to know after they built their 12-inch like starter the mosaic, me over like here. that one, yes. um, I wanted the, them to know how they could go beyond that, yes. how they could build several 12 inch square ones to join together or how they could make a bigger mosaic and how big to make and how would they actually go about making a template and yes, and when is, when is it too big to make in one piece? To make it one piece. And that is everything you go over and this <clears throat> is strictly a presentation style course. There is yeah. no making of a mosaic in this course. She does build this mold on camera from beginning to end and she gives you this template in the course. So you can, if you have taken or know how to do pebble mosaics or you've taken her course, then you could jump right into this one or something larger, correct? Correct. And this is quite a fun mosaic to make. I've made a couple of them and we'll have a Yes, photos there are of them. a couple of them in the course so you can see the pictures. So how, um, how successful do you think people can be once they've taken your first course to really dive into this? Well, I think it's essential to dive into another one. You really have to do it a few times because like anything you're going to learn by doing yes yeah and, and it takes practice like anything takes else. practice yep yes so showing them how you did the project that's at the ruins the threshold and then showing people how they can make one 36 inch that's in two pieces for Correct. the one that's in the lake house. So there are ways to do it not as big as the threshold, but not mm -hmm. just a single piece as well. That's right. Yes. You really give a lot of options as far as in photos and demonstrating how to do um, this mold right here. Right, and then you can reuse the materials and you can make a whole stepping stone path if you want. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing this knowledge again to Mosaic Arts Online. We really, really appreciate I'm it. I'm really happy to be here. Thanks, Tammy. Absolutely.